Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. You already know who it is, but if you didn't know, it's your favorite South Florida real estate agent, Jason Matuk, and today we are in Miami Beach. We're on Allison Road, and I'm gonna be showing you the six bedroom, seven bathroom, two half bathroom with 7,000 square feet. It was built in 2022. It sounds really weird to say. And before we get started, I just wanna say thank you to the listing agent, Oliver, with Douglas Elliman for allowing us to do this tour. And why don't we just get started? So when you come off the driveway, it turns into this beautiful like gray stone gravel. It's just absolutely amazing to drive up onto every day. You hear that delicious crunch. And then on my left, we have your garage. You can fit two cars over here and you can see and just admire them every time you come home. You got the, uh, the Land Rover right there as an example. You know, not mine, I wish. But you just have this different structure for your garage and then a different structure for your main house. You got tons of parking in the front as you walk up. Even the path as you're going up has some detail leading us all the way to the front door, the textured grass. This is just an amazing entrance to start off with. And let's get inside because it only turns up from here. Welcome home. So as we walk around, we're gonna take this straight path into the main living and sitting room. Look at this, just absolutely amazing. So much to talk about, the art on the wall, and this isn't your typical walk into a gallery art. I mean, you have this huge wall, this like chalkboard wall with art design. We have some puppies in the house and they're portrayed here. A beautiful message, you know? Get this tattooed in the back of your neck or something, I don't know. But this living room is really nice. I like the idea of just walking in, having a great place to sit, a view of the pool, the water. And so let's actually head down over here really quick. Just take over this side. We'll head back over there afterwards. On this angle of the property, we have the elevator. Of course, you're gonna need an elevator and of course you're gonna have one. And then on my left, we have the half bathroom for the guests. Come a little bit further down. It takes us into our gym room, you know? A Pilates, I have no idea how this works or what this does, but it just looks really nice. You have the mirror on the wall as every gym does. A little bit of motivation. It must be something, it must be somebody's fault. Not mine, definitely not mine. And then in here we have the bathroom. So after you're done, you know, working out, breaking that sweat, you have a great bathroom over here. Take a walk-in shower, check out the progress. You got everything you need. And then we'll head out of here. And on my right, we have your office space. Because if you live in a house like this, and during these times, you're gonna need a place to work at home. And what a place to do it. I feel like I'm in an antique coffee shop almost. You got this really sturdy desk facing this very beautiful view, you know? Couch over here, TV on the wall, built-in bookshelf. I mean, this place, I, you don't need an office if you have this place is what I'm trying to say. Work here every day. You'd love it. And as we come out, this is a room that I found very interesting. It's kind of a place, instead of watching TV in the living room, because that's where you talk, all right? We, no one needs to watch anything over there. We have a place to watch stuff over here. Look at this. We have a very quiet, very cozy, I know you can imagine yourself cuddling here, because I can too, fireplace, TV on the wall, more books. This is a house if you like to read, if you catch my drift. Just a really quaint, quiet place. I think that I love the idea of having it separated from the living room. And as we come out, we're gonna go back down to where the living room was, pass it again, admire it. Go ahead, YouTube, admire it, by all means. And we're gonna come up on one of my most, I mean, this is probably my most favorite art piece that I've ever seen in any house. When I first saw this, I thought this was like a security cam of the pool outside, it's not. This is a live art, and as you can see, she's like working with the actual structure in the picture. She goes out of it and swims around. I think this is beautiful. I'm not sure who designed it, but I'm going to find out. I'm gonna to try to put it in the video for you guys. So that's amazing. Love it. And then on my right, the kitchen. This kitchen also, just like the living and TV room, has a very unique aspect. So you have everything that's, let's, let's talk about what's the same, right? We have Wolf appliances, six burner gas stove, vent above, hidden in this like floating ceiling. You have an amazing countertop that switches and contrasts with wood leading down to your shell stone floors your sink, your dishwashers on this side with a view of a private landscape and a blue sky, right? We've seen that before. 
a couple of things you haven't seen, right? Where is the ovens? Where are you cooking? Well, I'll show you. Right down over here, where your fridge is, you got your fridge and freezer, your ovens are hidden by the wet bar on this side. And before I take you over there and show you them, your pantry, because you're gonna have a big family if you're staying in this house, you know, 7,000 square feet, you got a lot of heads in this house. You have a walk-in pantry over here with built-in shelving, some of the brains of the property, but great place to hide snacks, medicine cabinet stuff, anything you want. Looking at this, really hungry already, can't wait. And you know what? If you wanna see what I'm gonna eat after this tour, here's a link to the food vlog. When it comes out, it'll pop up right there. You can watch what we did after this tour, where we ate. Yeah, me and Alex, okay. And then from the right over here, through the wet bar, as I was saying, you have your ovens, and check this out. You have a microwave, convectional oven, and then two big ovens down below. So you got, you're cooking Thanksgiving, it's your, at your house, because you've got the right stuff to do it. Wine cooler down below, sink, some drink, you know how it goes, and it takes us into the dining room. And once again, I mean, this is the theme of this house, it's just different. Usually in dining rooms, you see a huge long table, one, no, no, no. We have a split down the middle, a five and a five. I just love it. I think it's just really unique to have. Take a look for me real quick at this light fixture. It's like blown glass, blue light fixture. Something that probably, most likely was imported at a very high price. And then you have art all over these walls. Something else I'd like to mention while I'm in this room is that the furniture that you're seeing the owner is willing to negotiate. It's not included, but if you like this, if you like what you see like I do, spit him a good offer and he might accept. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. It depends on your behavior. And now that I've showed you everything on the first floor, why don't I take you outside to finish it up and show you what's outside and where you're gonna be lounging? Follow me. All right, so I just stepped outside and right away, one of my favorite places in any house. If you've seen my previous videos, I love a good outdoor dining space. I could see myself out here with my mom, my family, just enjoying the beautiful blessings of this view, you know? And then over here, kind of a spot to hang out and just chill with your friends, smoke a cigar as I would, have a glass of wine, morning coffee. You have it over here. And now we're gonna hop down and head towards the pool. So we'll start on the right side over here. So yeah, you got your rectangular shaped pool heading down to where the lounges are out here. Towels already laid out for you. And I love this like patterned uh, beam going across. It's so nice. It's, it just feels like you're at a resort somewhere in a very exclusive hotel like the Ritz Carlton. And as we come down onto this side, if you wanna follow me over here, it's gonna take us to another one of my favorite spots in any house, the jacuzzi. So while you're sitting in here, just cooling, maxing, relaxing, all cool. I don't know how I forgot how that song goes. You got your summer's grill on this side, so people are cooking. You got your Delta Heat grill, sink, fridge, ice maker, everything you need, and so you're just cooking and handing out the food to your guests. What a place to do it, even a vent above, so your neighbors don't get too jealous of the smoke. And then as we come down a little further, another iconic spot that you're gonna need anytime you live in Miami, anywhere in South Florida really, is a dock. Of course, you knew it had to be here. So over on this side, I mean, what a, what a perfect name. Live in Miami, just live in Miami. And so now let's come across the dock. Watch your step there, Alex. We'll head down and you have 75 feet of water frontage. And as you can see, this is a massive, <laughs> very beautiful boat and it fits snug right over here. And you even have a lower dock on my left over here where you can put a jet ski, a smaller boat, dinghy, anything on this side. And I just want to show you one last thing, the iconic view you have on this quiet bay, going from one end to the other, the bridge in the distance, ocean access, not 10 minutes away. What more could you ask for here in South Florida? So now, I'm gonna take you back inside. I wanna show you the second floor, the master bedroom, more surprises and show you what it has to offer. Follow me inside. Okay, now on a proper transition, we go from the stone flooring to a white oak flooring up these stairs. You got the wrought iron taking this up. 
absolutely amazing. I don't know if you could pan from there if it's possible. Look at the ceiling, look at the design. You have the flamingos on the ceiling. That is just one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in any house. And now let's go upstairs. Cool. So we just came up to the top floor and you'll see all around the house, we have these little things on the wall. The cool thing is this house is powered by Savant smart home technology. So all throughout the house, you can control lights, music, everything. It's really, really convenient. And then in here, we kind of have like your den office area. It's just, you know, not much to see. Place to sit, get some work done upstairs. A great congregation place for all the guests, in my opinion. And now we're gonna take a look at some guest bedrooms. So on one side, you can see they're all colored and themed. We have a guest bedroom in here. It's got its own balcony, bathroom, ensuite, place to sit, place to watch TV. Absolutely beautiful. And then on my right, we have the same thing, darker color, same great view from the bedroom, ensuite as well. Flooring kind of makes you feel like you're in a beach house. And as we come out of there, we're gonna come across to see the last couple guest bedrooms. And what I really like about this house is, like, like Alex was saying, you know, there's art everywhere over the walls, bookshelves, places to sit. Like I just wanna grab a book. I just wanna be like, hmm, what's a good book? Like psh, pull it out, sit here, just like read and have a good time. It's just, I just sat on my sunglasses. Nope, that's my cell phone, we're good. And as we come a little bit further down, on my left, this is like the VIP suite. I'll take you into this one. It's a little bit bigger. So in here, we have a huge bed, a king size bed, gorgeous view, place to sit, place to watch TV. All the guests are taken very well care of. And then your own ensuite on this side, walk-in closet as well. There's nothing missing in this room or in any of the guest bedrooms. And now we're actually gonna head to the primary suite of this house because it is the best, of course, as it should be as it should be. So we're gonna walk down over here, make a left and the door, hold on, the door is a swivel door. Look how beautiful that is, massive swivel door. I'm a huge fan of swivel, I'm a huge fan of everything real estate, I just love it. And so we'll pop, prop it open right there and as we come in, it's a split bedroom floor plan. We have his on one side and hers on the other side. We'll start with his on my left. So as you come into here, walk-in closet. It doesn't need to be too big, you know? It, it's pretty big, but it doesn't need to be overwhelmingly big because you know, us guys, we don't mean, for the most part, we don't have too much stuff in these rooms. You know, jackets, coats, pants, everything like that. Fit them in here very easily. And then my ensuite on the right, I called it my ensuite, but I wish it was. But check out the scene that you have in here. You have a huge walking shower, place to sit, frosted window, shower head, some jets, absolutely elegant. Your single sink, TV on the wall, soak in tub with a huge thick border going around. I love that. And then a view that money, only money can really just buy for you is this, this beautiful blue water. I can see the ocean in the back from here. Takes my breath away. And we're gonna cross over into the bedroom to get to the other side. But while we're there, we're gonna appreciate it. So you come in, this is your main bedroom suite. Look at this, absolutely amazing. Views again, just the most iconic views of Miami, in my opinion, just water and the ocean. And then you have your bed dead center over here, place to sit and hang out and lounge. As we come down, it's gonna take us into her side of the bathroom. And you'll see why it's her side or his side. Listen, we don't judge on Jason Batuk's channel, but I'm gonna say this is her side for a specific reason. When you walk into this closet, you're like, look, look how much space we have in here, right? Like come in here, all this space, handbags, everything, shoes, but where are you putting your clothes? Oh, well, turn around YouTube, look at this. Look at this. I'm about to open up a track field in here. Run some track, crazy. You have unlimited space to store all the clothes you need. You're never gonna run out of space in here. Although it looks like she might need some more. But listen, we're in Miami. Having clothes is part of the, the lifestyle. And let me show you her bathroom now. We walk in, huge walk-in shower, kind of like the same as the last one, maybe even a little bigger. Same, you know, bench in there to sit. We have your water closet over here, and you got that same iconic view of the water in your pool. I'm amazed at what I see, but now I wanna leave you with one final scene from this home, and it's something that I, I think will stay with you and remind you of this home every time you think about it, is the view you get from your balcony. Look at this. And open this door up, come on out. This is when you equip the shades. Boom. Got some loungers out here, outdoor dining up here. Great place to have a morning coffee. Come out and think about life, plan your day in your head. I'm a huge fan. 
Now, if you're a huge fan, don't forget to hit subscribe, follow this channel. If you wanna see the food vlog that Alex and I will be going to later on today, if it's out, it'll pop up right here. If it's not, stay tuned. You can still follow the channel if you'd like. And um, I look forward to seeing you at the next one. I love you, I care about you. I care about you more than any other YouTuber cares about their fan base. And that's a fact. All right, so have a good day. Go back to work, no more YouTube. All right.